I'm on my way to the Dead Sea. And what would take the average person around 10 minutes to do? Took me, three men, and a golf cart. And about just under an hour. Because we couldn't walk down the stairs to reach the beach, we had to use the golf cart, which was great because without it, I couldn't have done it. And without the help of Tarek and Alan, I definitely couldn't have tried this. It was extremely hot outside, and it was a long adventure to be honest. It was tiring for me, and I didn't have to do much. So like I said, the clip was about uh, an hour's worth of footage, so I had to speed up everything. And this music in the background as well, some random uh, nature sounds because I couldn't find anything else that was 10 minutes long that was of any interest or could match this video. Hey, doesn't it look like Tarek is peeing on the right side of me? It took me a few times watching the video to figure out what that was, but it's actually just reflection somehow from my wheelchair. You'll see it on the next turn. There he goes, peeing again. So you would think that the Dead Sea would be just chock full of people floating around everywhere, but the truth is there was very few people in there at all. In fact, the sea was as dead as it sounds. There's nothing in there. There's not a boat. There are very few people. And um, there's really not anything living. The salt content is so high that it's uh, very dead. For those who don't know, the Dead Sea is the lowest point on the planet. Which, they say you have a lot more oxygen because of this. And there were times when this is where people would come to have meetings to focus better. This is what I'm told. So I had to go backwards down the hill. It was super steep and um, not so easy for these guys. Tarek sounded like he was gonna pass out. So we found some shade under a little uh, cover. And they're gonna change into my bathing suit and they're gonna carry me down to the water. It was a very steep hill, so I needed this other chair to to sit in for a few minutes and to dry off on after. According to Alan, the ground was very hot, so they were in a hurry to step in the water. And this guy didn't know English, so he just kept trying to help, but he didn't understand that we didn't really need it. The water looked very thick, as if it had oil in it. But it was buoyant. Right away, you can float. And it's pretty clear that uh, it's not too easy to sink. So once I got a hold of my legs like this, I was on my own. There was no need for any kind of flotation device. I could just sit there and relax comfortably without anybody's help. Although you do see Alan hold on to me a few times, I think he was just doing it to be cautious, but I definitely didn't need it. 
So as you can see around me, there's only a couple of people in the water. They tell you that you shouldn't stay in the water more than 20 minutes. If it gets in your eyes or in your mouth, well, it won't feel good at all. In fact, I did taste it and it was salty. I had a little sting on my neck for a little while, uh, but this water just gets into your pores. I had to cover my penis with a glove to make sure that the salt didn't get in there into my catheter. But overall, the experience was interesting. It was nice to be able to float without sinking and just relax in the water. Now I'm going to have Alan grab the camera because Tarek doesn't understand what I want to do and put it under the water and you get to see that the water is quite cloudy. And that's due to the high salt content. I think I sat in there about 15 minutes and now it was time to get out and rinse off in the shower. Overall, getting me into the Dead Sea to float for 15 minutes took a total of about two and a half hours. Because once I got back to the room, I had to clean up, and then I also had to get dressed. So it took a lot of time. I don't know if anybody noticed, but there's a Playboy bunny on the front of Tarek's shorts. Me and Alan were sure to give him shit about that. So back up to the lounge chair where I can dry off. And then they'll put me in the uh, manual chair and Tark will drag me back up the hill. The golf cart came to meet us. There was also a camel outside. He wasn't too happy and he let me know it quickly. Well, thanks for watching everyone. In my next video, I'll be heading to the airport.